Anthony Fantano here, long time no see. Today is an album review. Yesterday was a track review. Eh? Eh? Someone once told me variety is the spice of life. Someone. Anyway, yesterday I got a lot of comments saying that my videos are finally turning up in some people's sub boxes, maybe not other people's sub boxes. I'm not completely sure how YouTube is working this thing right now. All I know is that you should just continue revisiting the channel to make sure if there's a new video up, you want to do this because there are some pretty good albums coming up soon. And I've also been getting a lot of comments on this, the new Teebs album, Ardor. This thing is like the album review that won't die. Weeks before it was released, I was getting comments about it, and weeks after it has been released, I am still getting comments about it. So, Teebs, I congratulate you on earning your hardcore fan base. The Sonic Proof says he's obsessed with this album, and Awesome A says that I should review this or the new Kanye. And, and with options like that, I have to say, Teebs is a California producer. Producer. and one of many on the ever-growing brain feeder label created by Flying Lotus, who is basically hand-picking all sorts of musicians to release electronic music that combines elements of down-tempo, dubstep, ambient music, and hip-hop also plays a pretty pivotal role for a lot of the people on the brain feeder label, and Ardor is no different with its 18 tracks. It's 51 minutes of beat-heavy soundscapes. But even at its most bumpin', Ardor is not going to be bringing anybody out onto the dance floor. This will be the last album to ever give anyone a heart attack, believe me. But that doesn't mean it's not interesting. Aside from a vocal contribution on track 15, and a couple songs that number over four minutes, most of this album is short, lucid instrumentals. As one track starts to wear its welcome, another one is starting to be introduced. And the most impressive thing Ardor has going for it is the army of sounds flowing throughout it. All sorts of clicks, weird percussion with room ambience on it, swirling harps, twinkling pianos, jingles, jangles, vinyl hiss and crackle, synthesized bass, shakers. Blah, 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 blah. This thing has a huge appeal on a DJ producer mentality. There's a lot of howdy-do-it moments. If you're the type of person who is into the creation of sound, into the manipulation of sound, Ardor offers a lot of that. My major gripe with this LP, though, is kind of its song structures. There's a lot of sameness there on a lot of these songs. Many of the sounds just kind of go file and rank and march one by one into the mix and then kind of peter out by the end of the song. Rinse, wash, and repeat until boring. But to kind of play devil's advocate, it is very warm and relaxing music. Not really mind-bending, but mind massaging, kind of best kept on headphones for me. I tend to favor music that's maybe a little more upbeat, maybe a little more experimental, maybe a little more adventurous, and that bias has affected me in the enjoyment of this album, for sure. But if you're looking for a calming experience in your beat music, this is definitely the album for you. I kind of imagine this as baths with no vocals and a little less weird or maybe even Toro y moi, but a lot more sober, or even a more straightforward Cosmogramma. Maybe this is a sad thing to say, and then again, maybe this is kind of the point of the album. I mean, a lot of people have labeled this as down-tempo, but this LP is never, ever, ever going to take up my foreground. But it's fantastic at kind of just painting my background, if you know what I'm saying. If you're zoning out, this should be your soundtrack. I'm not on the fence with it. I did like it. It is listenable, and I was impressed with some of the production. I'm kind of like a strong six on this, but all those people who were asking for this review, let me know what you think of this album. Are you in love with it? Are you kind of feeling the same way I am about it, but you love chill moods more than I do? Hmm? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, Teebs, Ardor, Forever.